Let's make connections. What do we have today? What do we have to, oh, well, I immediately see drive and reverse, which are, um, you know, these are, these are gears in a car. What do you, what do you call that? These are sort of, I don't know, modes of driving in a car. <laughs> Depends, I guess, whether you're in an automatic or a manual transmission vehicle. But anyway, uh, park is one, drive, reverse, park. What would the other ones even be, actually? Neutral. And then after that, it would depend whether you're an automatic or manual. Uh, okay, I don't see anything else. Oh, that really seemed like it was going to be one, but I don't, I don't see anything useful. Oh, that's funny. Okay, well there we go. Weird. I guess that must just be a. Is that really a? I think that's a red herring. Okay, well, what else can we can we look at? Baseball. Dugout, I mean, dugout is a concept within baseball, so they, it feels like a red herring as well. They wouldn't be in the same category. Oh, skip and propel? If you sort of propel a rock, you skip it across water? That doesn't feel good to me. Oh, propel and push, though. That feels a bit prompt. You push someone to do something, you prompt them, you propel them, maybe. Um, drive, okay, there we go. Drive, push, prompt, propel. These all mean to sort of encourage or to... Uh, to move something. This feels right. I'm going to do it. Yes. Move to action. Okay. Let's see. Wild I've not really looked at. And neither, nor grapefruit. That's interesting. Oh, grapefruit and baseball are both spherical. A pea is spherical, I guess. Uh, so is a marble. Is it? Is it that simple? Is it simply... Orbs, things that are spherical? There are four of them, and I don't see any others. Yeah, maybe maybe that's it. I mean, it's pretty clean. Hail size comparisons, what? Um, baseball sized hail, grapefruit sized hail, grapefruit sized hail. Yikes, that's ter a terrifying thought. Marble sized hail or pea sized hail, okay. I guess that's it. That's very funny when I just sort of thought, oh, they're, they're spheres. But anyway, park, gym, these are sort of recreational spaces, maybe. No, I don't see anything else that looks like that. Oh, oh, I see something funny. I can't believe I have this in my head, given I've not played this in literal decades, probably. But skip, reverse, draw, wild. I think these are all Uno cards. You know, skip a player, reverse the order of play, draw a card. I don't know really what wild does, actually. But I think there is some... I mean, wild is a very common concept in card games generally, so I, I sort of suspect that that's one. It sounds like it would be. Okay, so then... Yeah, Uno cards, that was right. So what about these? Dugout, park, gym, courtroom. Dugout, park, gym, courtroom. They're places with benches in that, in a baseball dugout, if you're sitting there, you're sort of, you're, you're just on the bench, you're waiting to play. Parks have benches, obviously park benches, gyms have benches for weightlifting and courtrooms have benches on which people sit. I think that's, I think that's it. That's, that looks right to me. Yes. Places with benches. I might've said that exactly. There we go. Great. Okay. Those were the connections. Bit of a tricky one today. Back tomorrow. Bye for now.